Okay, so I wanted to talk about the latest developments in the house, um, namely Ekin Su being a potential menace and the arrival of Gemma's ex Jax. Now, Ekin Su was chosen by Davide and it looked like she had her eye on either one of them and Luca went for Gemma. I'm pretty sure she didn't mind because Davide and Luca are probably the two strongest male contestants in the house. They're considered to be classically good looking by the women in the house. Luca has a strong and confident personality. I honestly think Davide is being carried by his looks. Um, his personality doesn't seem very dynamic. Um, he's not really animated, an animated individual, and he appears to be carried by a pretty privilege where people deem you or you know deem you interesting and give you more favorable treatment based off of how you look now ekin su is an actress from turkey oh she's actually from essex but she's an actress in turkey and she knows that she looks very desirable to the others and i don't think she sees any of the other girls in the house as you know, competition possibly bar Gemma. Ekin Su's coupling with Davide has heated up recently, um, where the two shared a very passionate kiss. And the issue is, it was such an overly dramatic, very contrived kiss, and it looked like they clearly wanted the rest of the villa to see, and they got that audience that they wanted. Now, I don't buy it for a second. I think that Ekin Su has a strategy for villa domination. She wants to be top girl in the villa, and she knows exactly how to get there. And that is by coupling with the most dominant men in the house, the most desirable men in the house. She's clearly into the aesthetics and aligning herself only with the most dominant men. I think she's very clever. And while some might not like her, I do think that she has the potential to create some great TV. She's entertaining to watch and she's making the show more interesting. And let's face it, with most of the couples only being lukewarm, that's kind of what's needed right now to spice things up. Um, now, speaking of spicing things up, Ekin Su has already gotten behind or gone behind Davide's back to speak to Gemma's ex, Jax. And she told him that she wants to get to know him. So she's not pulling any punches, she's going for it and she's scrambling to get to the top of the pecking order in the, in the villa. I think once the other contestants realise what she's doing and how she's going about it, it will definitely create some tension. And I'm really looking forward to that because it's needed in the house right now. Now, on to Gemma and Luca. Gemma has been accustomed to being pursued by both Luca and Davide and has by far had the most attention in the house. I think being a premiership footballer's daughter, she is used to this and the way she acts is really indicative of that. And it's like she almost expects it. She expects to be the centre of attention at all times. And I've seen this where she's now coupled up with Luca and he's putting his arm around her and telling her how much he's into her and she's telling him to lay off and calm down and to not lay it on so thick. And it's almost like for her, she likes the idea of being desired, but I think it's probably been quite off-putting with Luca now, you know, all of a sudden saying, you know, I really want you and this is what I'd like us to do together, etc. And she's told him to calm down. I completely get her point that Luca was definitely jumping the gun and, you know, talking about where he'd like to take her on holiday. That is quite off-putting, especially when you've just met someone. I can also imagine he was mentioning a few places and I can imagine, you know, for someone who's the daughter of a premiership footballer, she's probably been to elite locations all around the world. So the places that he was talking about, like Mykonos, etc., no disrespect to those places. They're lovely locations, but I think the way in which he was going on about them, I think she's probably used to um you know probably more elite locations than those all around the world so um that definitely put a doubt in my mind about their compatibility and about their future in the house that brings me to Gemma's ex um Jax now Gemma had a chat with Jax and um, whilst Jax had previously mentioned on a date with Afia that he and Gemma didn't end on good terms, I think it's safe to say that there might be some potential for them to re-explore their relationship um, and pick up where they left off. They were quite warm towards one another. 
that you wouldn't normally expect with exes who've broken up on bad terms. And um, Jax asked um, her how her family were. So at some point it shows that they were quite serious with one another in their relationship. And with him now being in the villa, I do believe that he's a threat to Luca. And you could see that on Luca's face. He was very concerned um, watching Gemma and Jax have this conversation. And he actually did say that if, you know, he breaks up with Gemma, he doesn't really know what he'll do. He doesn't see himself with anybody else in the house. So, you know, that's quite a serious proclamation. So he's quite worried. So I think Jax is definitely a threat to him and Gemma. Jax is also a rugby player and he's probably more suited to Gemma's lifestyle and how she's been raised. Now, I file, you know, I did say in the first video about this season that I love the fact that, you know, originally at the start of this season that the contestants all had really normal jobs. But I've noticed a pattern now um, where the producers are putting in normal everyday people to begin with. And then slowly but surely we're seeing this with Ekinsu. We're seeing this now with Jax. You know, they start to place the entertainers, the models, the influencers, you know, the sportsmen. And, you know, this starts to shake up everything and it makes good TV. But the issue I have with this is that it's leading young people believe that you know looks and social influence are the be all and end all and that's what gets you you know the girl or, or the guy that you want and sometimes life isn't all about that sometimes we don't need to try you know um, chase that kind of superficial stuff I understand that it's entertainment and it's you know all fun etc but you know if you think about the the, the um big brother big brother franchise you know you had all different types of looking people and so many of them created so much entertainment they had relationships with different people in the house it doesn't always have to be about you know um you know botox and fillers and blown up lips and abs etc i think it is excessive and it doesn't have a good influence um on the young people all of the time um, and you find that everyday people are genuinely looking for love. What's wrong with that? You know, they, they, people don't always have to be super hot and turning heads and, you know, with models and actors. Let's make it a bit more realistic, you know, possibly like maybe the first season. But do tell me what you think. Do you think Gemma might dump Luca to re-explore things with her ex, Jax? Or do you think Ekin Sue will dump Davide and get in there first with Jax? Please like the video and subscribe and let me know what you think in the comments below.